Here's Brody Brazil. I still, like I said, have a lot of fears that it could go sideways. And I think we're going to get a pretty good glimpse of that on this coming Wednesday. Yeah. Um, the, the BCDC's going to have a meeting. They're not going to take a vote or anything, but they're going to go over, you know, the whole port jurisdiction and, and all the other stuff. Um, and so, I mean, it's crazy to think that the A's can work so hard on something in the city of Oakland and the, God, they just, but the city of Oakland's really busted their butts to keep this team. Uh, the A's have worked really hard. The city's worked really hard. The County's been in the mix and, and to think that they could work really hard and battle and battle and battle and, and unite and come to a resolution just to have, <laughs> you know, a government agency go, eh, stadium doesn't work there. Real estate doesn't work there. Sorry. Um, that, that would be devastating. Does it so, take, can one, can one entity though, you're talking about Save the Bay, right? That's what BCDC is? I think Save the Bay is part of BCDC. Got it. Yeah. It, is like, it, so can one thing they, like that derail the whole project or can it just delay it or can it throw, you know what I'm saying? I think what we're all worried about is the uh-oh type moment. Is it like that or is it just, okay, we got we to gotta work through this or we got to fight through this? I mean, I think, I think that if they don't get the answers they want and there's some indications in the documentation and, and uh, um, in all that, that I, if you follow, you should really, everybody listening is follow vitamin D on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, D E E go find him. Uh, I retweet him all the time. He's, he's worked really hard in, in just looking at all the BCDC and port side stuff. And he shares it all with me and he also posts it, but there's a lot there. And, and frankly, I've spent so much time on the the team and in the city uh, that, that I haven't had as much time to really dive into like the regulatory agencies and kind of what, what could or could not be, you know, permitted on this project site. And so uh, a big part of Howard Terminal is, is getting that land, you know, the port designation removed from that land. If you can remove the port designation from that land, then that clears the way for the port to then come up with the, the, the real estate deal. Um, and then also you, you also have like the state lands commissions and all the other people that are going to get to weigh in too. So um, there's some things I fear <laughs> when looking at that. But based on the fact that I've spent as much time talking to the A's in the city as I have, and they haven't really brought that up a whole lot, right. I'd like to hope that that means it's not as eminent as a concern as it seems like it might be. But right. you know, we'll know a whole lot more about that on Wednesday. That's coming quick. And then that's what's fun about this. 